Good morning, everybody. Welcome to My Creative Time with Emma. And also welcome to our fourth day of our five days of Christmas. Today we are showcasing my favorite items I love to make. We are showcasing some really quick um, uh, gift card holders that you can mass produce, especially if you're going to do a lot of them this year, okay? So I'm going to make two for you today. Um, so we are using the mini Christmas greetings, and I love this set because these are a smaller scale of Christmas greetings, so this way, um, you see how that's way smaller than this one, and I love that, okay? And then I'm using the December 25th stamp set. I'm using the Christmas wishes just for you. Then I'm using one of my favorites, the Frap gift card holder die. Now this is a pretty good size die here. I love it. And then another one of my favorites, the mailbox gift card holder, okay? Now... I do have an, uh, it's called the holiday envelope and it does coordinate with this, but I'm not using it today because somebody had asked me if I had a coordinating envelope to this one. Actually, let me show you which one it is just so you'll have an idea. This is the holiday envelope um, that does coordinate with the mailbox gift card holder die. Now the frap card gift card holder, if you just push the straw down, like if you trim it down a little, it will fit in an A2 size envelope, okay? So I just wanted to share that because I had a couple of people ask, okay? So let's go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and put together, and this is gonna be super simple. Um, we are gonna go ahead and put together this first. This is the actual, um, this is the bottom layer. This is the mailbox gift card holder. Um, and I am going to use glossy accents to hold this down only because I don't want this to come apart because this is going to someone um, and I don't want it to come apart. Let me get my, um, let me get a little needle, needle here to get my little glossy accents going here. So hopefully that worked. Yeah, and I know for sure this will not come apart. So I'm not going to add a gift card in here until I finish both of them. So this way I give this time to dry. I'm actually going to turn on my fan so we could start getting to work here. So I'm just going to put um, adhesive here. Okay. So whatever you do, do not put it here in the center. When I first got this, I went all crazy. I put it all here. And I'm thinking, okay, how is the gift card going to go in there? No adhesive in the center. Just at the top. Okay. And then way at the bottom just one little line like so and then we're going to put um, let's see we're going to want to put some right here at the end and then we're going to put some on the other end as well okay so now we're going to go ahead and just let me grab my tweezers. Let's see. Grab my tweezers. Flip this around. Okay, so. So I'm just going to kind of just line this. Uh, that's why I like using that liquid adhesive because it gives you some wiggle room. Okay, so now that we got that part down. Perfecto. Okay, so now that we got that part down, we're going to go ahead and just put on all of the little layers that go with this. So this is a layer. You don't have to use these. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just use this. Like I said, you don't have to use the layers, but I like to just to kind of give it just a little bit extra. You know, I'm just going to put some adhesive at the top portion there. And this one kind of lines up perfectly with that because this is going to be your little mailbox slot. That's going to be the slot where you're going to slip in the, the gift card in there, okay? All right, I think that's a little cricket, but that's okay. It's no big deal. Okay, so what we are going to do next, now we are going to stamp. We're going to go ahead and stamp on the little layer. And then this one, we are going to stamp Christmas wish. <laughs> Christmas wishes just for you. So let me go ahead. I'm just going to do a quick little test stamp off to the side here just to make sure there's no little nothing on here. I always do that because sometimes when I do clean my stamps, I clean it with something I shouldn't be cleaning it with and all of a sudden there's like a little 
lint or something on there and it will show up on here. So, okay, so let's go ahead and just Sorry, I get a little nervous when I stamp on a little piece because I want to make sure it all, you know what I'm saying, stamps in the center. There we go, beautiful. Okay, perfecto. So now we are going to go ahead, let's just push that off to the side. We're going to go ahead and put this down. This is the bottom layer that the, um, that the sentiment that we just did is going to go on top of, but... Before we do that, I am... Oh, shoot. You know what I forgot to tell you that we're using? Um, we're using this, my Fun Size Holiday Bow Dye. That's the smaller one, which I super duper love. So before I do that, I do want to kind of line this up here. I wonder if I should do it in the center. And this could go... Right. I just want to make sure it doesn't cover any of the wording up there. Okay, and then... Now, I'm not going to pop anything up because if you want to mail this, you know, the only thing I'm going to pop, oh shoot, hold on, the only thing I'm going to pop up is the bow. I have to because it's just, it's just so cute. Popped up and it does, and it is flat so you don't have to worry about it getting uh, squished all up in the mailbox. Hold on. You know, I think I'm going to go ahead and just use this to, just in case that ink is still wet. I don't want to, there we go. Perfecto. I don't want to smear it. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we are going, actually, you know what? I think I like it better to the side. I think I like it better to the side. I don't know why. I just do. Let me go ahead and grab my little tweezers again here. There we go. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and put this, pop this up as well. Why not? Like I said, you don't have to pop it up, but I just, <laughs> I want to. And I'm just lining, you see how that's a straight edge? And that one here, the bottom part's a straight edge, just so I like to line it up like so. And then we have the little, the little middle portion which I am just going to just glue directly down. Now, of course, if you're putting it in the mail, don't do any layering. Just go ahead and just glue everything down to it and it'll look super cute as well. Isn't that adorable? So as soon as this completely dries, we're gonna go ahead and put the gift cards in there, but we're not gonna do it yet because um, I don't wanna ruin it, okay? So now we're putting it together. But before we put this together, I'm gonna go ahead and get the heart and this is where I'm going to use that, um, I'm trying to see if I have any ink on my hands, because I'm using all white this next project here. Um, okay, from the mini Christmas greetings, I figured just to kind of give it a little, little subtle, um, a little subtle, what do you call this, um, sentiment. So, let me, what did I do with that? Let me see. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead, and this is just going to say ho, ho, ho. I'm going to go ahead and just stamp that. I'm going to stamp that right in the center of this heart. Well, not, just somewhere on here. There we go. Uh-oh, hold on. See, I should have, did you see how the, that little line is in there? Because there was a little hair on that. Oh man, why did I test that first? Let me see. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Let me see if I could salvage this without having to re-stamp it again. Let me see. Um, let's go ahead and try using this jelly roll here. This white uh, pen. I don't want to waste this, you know what I'm saying? Okay, let me see. I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but 
No. Actually, you know what? I'll use this. I just, I think I'm just going to recut it out again because I just don't really care for it too much. So let me do that real fast. Okay, I had to cut it out again. <laughs> okay, cut it out again and it stamped so much better, okay? So, we are going to go ahead and just put this together. I'm using some old, I want to say I got this from Paper Tray Ink a long time ago. Like literally a long time ago. So, I'm not sure if they still carry it or not, but that's where I got that from. So, what we're going to do... We're going to go ahead and put this down. Actually, you know what? Before we put this down, let's go ahead and put this little strip down first, okay? And I'm going to, again, use my glossy accents. And then we're going to put these on. I mean, these are super easy to put together, you know what I'm saying? Just when you make a little error like that, it kind of messes you up. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to put, you see that little strip? This is going to go there. Just like so. There we go. Okay, so now we are going to go ahead and put this down right below that. It's not going to touch it. It's going to go below right here. I wonder if, how it look if it did touch it. No, I don't like it touching. I'm just going to do it lower. Okay, so now, again, we're going to go ahead and use the glossy accents. And I'm going to go ahead and, again, put it at the top here because we don't want to put anything in the center because uh, we need to make room for the gift card. So I'm just putting adhesive all at the edges here. Alrighty. Just scooch this off. And then try and center this. Again, I love using the liquid adhesive because it gives you wiggle room to fix it if you were to mess up. Okay, so let's go ahead and just... Go like so. Perfecto. Okay, so now we are going to put our little whipped cream on here. And then this, we're just going to go ahead and use um, this right here. And this kind of just go butts up against this little strip here. So this kind of just goes like so. Okay. And then I cut out a clear piece for the cover. And then again, that's going to butt up against this too. And that's just going to go right on top like so. But I also want to put my um, straw on there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and you see there's a little slit right there. You see right there? Um, now when you do, just so you'll know, just a heads up, when you do cut it out with that clear acetate, you are going to have to kind of um, go in there and cut around it because it doesn't, well mine doesn't cut all the way completely through. Um, it might if I used new um, plates for my die cutting machine, but but now, see how I went ahead and I just used my X-Acto knife just to kind of get that little cut open. And then we're going to go ahead and put this through here. And I'm going to have to put this close to me so I can see because I, I'm not, <laughs> my eyes aren't very well. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. So what I'm going to do... I am going to go ahead and put some, I want to look at my last one that I made. I want to see how I did the adhesive. Oh, at the bottom. Okay. All right. So this was an uh, older one that I had created. So I know what I'm going to do now. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and put adhesive. I'm going to put it on here actually. Okay. Right at the bottom here of the little, the whipped cream. And that's it. And then the other place I'm going to put it at, I'm going to go ahead and just maybe put a little dot right here. Hopefully you can see that. A little dot right there. And then right there. Okay. And 
and this is going to go like so. Yeah, it's kind of tricky when you work with this clear acetate, you know. And like I said, um, if you want to fit it into an A2 size envelope, I don't want to, do, I want to put that down. It's, a hint. it's okay. I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm going to fix that. If you want to fit it in size an A2 size envelope, what you want to do is trim this straw a little bit shorter. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then it will fit. Okay. That's perfecto. So now we are going to go ahead and put on this right here. Just like so. And I will pop this up actually. Let me grab some pop dots. Um, hopefully I have some bigger ones. I don't want to use the little guys. Let's see. Nope. There's, oh, here we go. Okie dokie. So we are going to go ahead and just pop this guy up. And that was going to go like so. And then we're going to keep it simple. I was going to kind of add like some little greenery for some leaves and some holly. But you know what? If you're going to mass produce these, you do not want to add too much stuff. Otherwise, you, it's just going to take you like forever to try and complete one of these. Okay. Um, but if, if you want to add extras, hey, go ahead, knock yourself out. I'm pretty sure they'll come out just as beautiful okay so that is it everybody that is our um, projects for today for the gift card holder day guys um, so go ahead and head on over to my blog at www.creativetimeforme.com to see what the rest of my amazing team has for you today and also um, before I had left I had also I did do the video for the giveaway, so that's going to be scheduled for, that will be scheduled for tomorrow for the day five. So there'll be two separate videos tomorrow. One showing you all the giveaways, which there's five giveaways. I'm going to have five winners. So I will show that to you tomorrow. It's already scheduled. I did that before I left. So you're going to have that and then the regular video for the actual project. And I will announce the winners on Wednesday, okay? of next week okay everyone so that is it i hope you enjoyed this oh you know what before i forget let's go ahead and put the gift card in here really quick just so you could see so um we're gonna go ahead and put this one in here oops hold on i gotta put it close to me so i can see what i'm doing here there we go it goes the first one super duper cute and then this one might still be too wet but we're gonna try anyway and then this one's just going to go in here. Oh, yeah, it is still a little wet. I'm not going to push it down too hard because I don't want it, it to kind of open up on me. So yeah, so those are the gift cards that go in there and they're super duper cute. So that is it, everyone. Thanks so much for tuning in. Again, don't forget to leave your comments on all of our blogs along with the way for us to contact you if you win one of our prizes. Um... And that's it. Thanks so much for tuning in. Have a fabulous day, and I will see you all back here tomorrow. Hey, everybody, it's me again. I just wanted to quickly come back because as much as I like the look of the, um, I don't know what this one's called. It's not acetate paper, that one that I use. As much as I love the look of that, what I did was I went ahead and I backed it with the, I cut, I did that bottom layer, I cut it out again with some white cardstock, and I went ahead and I backed it, so this way it won't be so flimsy, you know what I'm saying, because using that vellum, that's what it is, um, the vellum's pretty, so I did, I just put it right behind the vellum, so you can actually kind of see the little stripes that were in there already, um, so that's what I did, so I just wanted to quickly come in and show you, just so it won't be so flimsy, because if you want, you could put a hole on both of these, and you could hang these, imagine having all kinds of just, tons of gift card holders hung on the tree as ornaments okay so this way it won't be so flimsy if you were to do that so anyways that's it everybody bye bye